Joe Biden has a new plan underway, and his administration is making plans to announce possibly as soon as tomorrow, the largest immigration relief program. There it is, immigration relief, not amnesty. No, 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 immigration relief program in history. The policy would offer legal status to hundreds of thousands of, well, illegal aliens who have lived in this country undocumented for at least a decade. Uh, they've gotten away with it, so why not just let them stay, right? That's the program, which is being called Parole in Place. and would offer work permits and deportation protection to unauthorized illegal aliens married to U.S. citizens who have been here for a decade. Joe and I have to discuss this, Lieutenant Colonel Alan West. Uh, Colonel, good to see you again. Thank you so much for being here. Immigration relief, not amnesty. No, 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 no. Immigration <laughs> relief. Isn't it interesting? You, you, you must notice this as much as the rest of us do. They keep no, yeah. changing words and coming up with new phrases and, and quaint little turns of phrase to make it sound like, oh, it's immigration relief. Come on. It's the same thing in a different suit, isn't it? No, you're absolutely right, Steve. It's great to be with you. And if there's one thing I can give to the progressive socialists, the leftists, the Democrat Party, they're very good at manipulating language and changing things to make us feel good about what they're doing, even though what they're doing is completely unconstitutional. And when you think about it, Joe Biden has no constitutional enumerated power to take this action, just the same as he should not be relieving college student loan debt. In the Constitution, Article 1, it lists those eight some odd duties and responsibilities of the federal government, that's all under the legislative branch. And matters of immigration and naturalization falls under the uh, legislative branch. It does not fall under the executive branch. So what Joe Biden is attempting to do, again, is unconstitutional. And I think the state should just nullify it and say, we're not going to allow this to happen. Yeah, you know, it's remarkable. They continue to do this, but they won't. Nobody will stand in his way. I think this is coming as soon as tomorrow. They're going to have this immigration relief program. It's going to be historic. It's always historic, Colonel, as you know. And it will be for the good of the people and everything else. You notice how they keep telling us that all of this immigration is good for the economy? It, yeah. Have you seen that somewhere that I'm missing? Because I'm not seeing it's good for the economy. I see it's undercutting wages. It's flooding the, the, the places uh, with cheap labor. Americans aren't winning in any of this, are they?